Basically the same thing. Yeah. We were a fucking Speedo on stage. I haven't yet, but. Introducing. <laughs> D -d 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 it's actually you, you're saying hi to you right now. What's up, Durbin? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying blessed. Yeah. Uh, been an academic weapon recently. Been yeah. proud of you, dude. Now you're here about to hit legs in a little bit. Get locked in, man. Real. Oh, Butter. Nice. I think it was like 25. 25 with 405, we got it, homie. Not 405, fucking, okay. what, 360? That's what I'm saying about legs, though. It's like easy for me to just fucking go for it. Lock in. Whew. Doesn't zoom in that far. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Damn, I wish I had some shorts right now. The fuck? Some stories? Short. Shorts. Yeah, are we hitting legs together, guys? Oh, that just made my day, dude. So what? Divine. Divine as fuck. Type shit. It, it, type shit. It's meant to happen. Came up with that myself. No, I'm fine. Lower weight, higher reps. But people take that, I guess, like as an excuse to train a little heavier. And like I eat, guess less like intense. Eat. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Less intense. Less intense. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I think. Like, I was saying to Durbin, your form on everything is pretty much like fucking there. Last couple of reps, a little bit of form maybe goes just to crank out those last ones, right? But like, training like how we're training right now, you couldn't do that first starting off. Like, you have to learn how to do that. Absolutely. Like, you can't train like, fuck, if I just started, I can't train like Daryl. I mean, sure it would work, but I think there's something about just going in and fucking back in here. No. <laughs> Is if you're training night like super intense, you're putting the same energy into the weight and shit. Right? It's intensity. Yeah. Intensity's intensity. there, like intensity in my opinion is what's helped made my progress. That's weird. I fucking That's how I feel with like a lot of this shit on legs. You fucking load up low. Yeah, you're fucking I saw the grin when you're like legs. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, bro, it's it, fucking legs is my day. shit. And I like I love training legs. That's how I got my fucking legs. Yeah, I mean are. Yeah, you don't get that shit by I mean yeah. you can get that shit by suffering through it. But these like sweats, these sweats are fucking hiding. Like yeah, yeah, they're fucking they're hiding them, dude. Yeah, I think you get big legs like you have by loving that shit. Yeah. Obsession's gonna be talent every time, right? That's the that's the fucking quote. Because if you're putting as much effort into you can with like a moderate rate for as many reps as you can. There's no way your muscle isn't gonna grow. That's why I love training with Bucky, because Bucky's like- He just like, fucking boom, goes boom, boom, hard, boom, dude. Boom. He doesn't let you go Shout easy. Bucky, real quick. Bucky a homie, dude. Uh, just recently, but when you do things, or when you're forced to do something that you don't want to do, there's a specific part in your brain that grows. Yeah. And it um, increases like your perseverance through like tough things that you don't want to do. That you really don't want to do. I don't know what it was. He actually, that's so funny that. Yeah, and then you just apply this shit. This you up. apply this shit to life, and that's uh -huh. like. And you preach that since like. That's like, then you can do anything. Yeah, since like day one, since I've been training with you. Yeah. That's really fucked up. Didn't say that shit too? Maybe. Like, like, Maybe it was Theo Vaughn. I don't know. Like, he was on a podcast with Joe Rogan, and he was like, man, every time I do something I don't want to do, I grow. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hated going to fucking water polo practice in the morning. Hate that shit. Helps a lot. Exactly, yeah, I mean, exactly. It's like, as simple as I fucking get example wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think two that's. Two days, dude, two a days. Two a days? Yeah. I know you played ball. Yeah. Two a days? Oh my god, it's maybe one day. Kill and myself. Like, fuck, yeah. Fucking practice? Uh huh. I think that's what I. Is this camera on me right now? That's like one of the reasons why I like doing this shit and like competing. It's like. Do I like enjoy competing? Yeah, but like, what was I saying? If I'm enjoying it, yeah, but like, it also forces me to push myself. Grows the person every practice. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking about what your yeah yesterday about like changing. Yeah, dude, I fucking hated myself. That's why I was putting my shit through myself. Yeah, and like changing your mentality yeah. on fucking. Okay, and then that right shit now. pours onto like relationships and everything else. Okay. All connected, homie. Yeah, all connected. All connected. But I think once you like remove those toxic situations, that's the hardest part. And then just fucking... Is that allowing yourself to remove that shit? Yeah. Yeah. Like, let shit be, dude. Yeah. Oh. 
it's also that's I think that's a lot of that. That's a part of the self development too. Yeah. Because there's a lot of things that allow us to feel comfortable and put us in yeah, you can warm, warm environments that we don't want to leave. Which is something oh, which is something I think produces the growth. Because like we we're just saying, bro, it like forces you in the position where you really don't want to do something or you don't want to leave something that gives you that comfort. Uh, comfort or uh, uncomfortability is what forces the growth. Kind of like what you guys were saying, you know? Yeah. Edit that? Edit episode six. I want to jump to episode seven, dude. <laughs> Fuck it, make this How six. do you edit your talking videos? I don't even have any good shit for six. What's making you not want to edit six? What's your process for editing boring. talking videos? That's it. YouTube videos? No, talking videos. Talking videos. Like, do you put the captions first and then watch it? And then clip it No, through? no, no. I, I listen to it first, and then afterwards, I put the captions on. That's because I could usually hear myself. Yeah. Um, I, I have 128 gigs, and if I don't, I got another... It's like, it's like if you're about to get shredded, it's like, I love being shredded and shit, but it's like, this is a reason to yeah. do so. Yeah. Struggle before the fuck. Like, it forces yeah. you to do that shit. Yeah. Kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like doing a tattoo. That shit motherfucking shit hurts. Yeah, facts. You'll sit through, but yo, yeah, and you'll, you'll sit through that two hours of pain, and then you'll, yeah. you'll be like, damn. I'm loving this piece. Good analogy, i say. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get hella grumpy with some of my clients, probably. No, not, I'll be grumpy, but I'll hold it in. But I'm gonna be like, whoever's close to me, probably won't snap at any of you guys. But like, if my like sister, sorry, Chloe. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, I won't really. That's kind of. That's also like a main goal for this prep too. Especially because I was in a relationship too at the time. Oh. So Harder, right? It, like, shout out my ex, but like, I'm sorry. But to be real, you were like, like times I was like, fuck. Yeah. I don't mean to be an asshole to you, but it's like. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Pe some people get it. Some people get upset and other people are like, I know you don't mean it. Like, yeah. like obviously it's not who you are. Yeah. Yeah, it's whoever I'm closest to gets the, gets the worst of it. Like same thing with my, my sisters, like part of the conversation we had yesterday, she's like, I only get so mad at you guys because I'm so close to you. I don't get mad like that with anyone else. Yeah. Fair enough, that's, fair, what yeah. that's what family for, dude. Yeah. Real, Vent that shit out. <laughs> that is real, that's real. It shows a lot of character, you know, you are very humble. Like, the way you carry yourself, you're really humble. I noticed that, that's what, like, there'll be things that are said, and you <laughs> there'll be things that are said, and it's just the way you answer, you come, it's just, I don't know, I don't know what I can say, it's very humble. Thank you, I try. I don't really want to be cocky. Sometimes I hear, I sometimes I'll hear yourself, the way you talk about yourself, I'm like, damn, this dude needs to get yeah. I think that's it. I'm very humble, but real. I have trouble saying I want to be Mr. Fucking Olympia because there's part of me that's like, stay in your lane. But then there's the confident time. If that's if that's possible end goal, and you're putting every intention to do so, like other shit will pop off too. Yeah. yeah good things will come. Good things will come from putting 100 percent into something. Yeah. You said in your last conversation, yeah. when you're in the mirror, it's like, why would you hate on somebody that's like really putting themselves out there yeah. for something they enjoy, something they're passionate about? Yeah. I feel like that's so common nowadays. Most like people that's judging. are division of haters. Yeah, it's it's insane. It's insane. like, yeah, like fucking motherfuckers that. Like if you see anyone that's just a freak at anything, that was cool as fuck. Like I'll be honest, I judged when I was younger. Like if my boy was like, I want to start dancing, I'll be like, yeah, what the fuck? Like clown. But now if my boy went up to me and was like, yeah, I'm taking a dance class, I'd be like, that's sick as fuck, dude. Yeah. That's like lit as fuck. Yeah. That's, that's really something that's made me happy finding like a, like a, a group of, oh yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's made me happy finding a group of, oh. 
group of people that are, it's not really even like same goals aligned, but it's just people that understand and know what they want. And kind of like what I was saying, they don't hate on you for trying to do something that you want to do that you're passionate people about. People will see you for you. Huh? People will see you for you. Exactly. Yeah. And just have a general understanding like, oh, like I get you're going through something too. Yeah. So it's just a mutual respect thing. And I feel like, I don't know why that's extremely hard to find nowadays. Like I was saying, like people are division one haters, especially with the internet. I feel like it's made it so much easier yeah. for people to kind of just hate. But um, I don't know if you're putting your all in something. Like you said, it's like why would you? The ones I hate the most are hiding. Exactly, the insecurities, whatnot. In real life too. Hmm? Like the people that clown on other people, like like bullies and shit. That's oh, just real fuck as fuck. Yeah, They're yeah, actually insecure as fuck. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Real. Shot. You can't fucking <laughs> like. I don't mean to get all religious and stuff. No, speak it, dude. But, like, I try not to get angry. What was the fuck? What were we just talking about? Come on. Like I can't like the insecurities of like people. Yeah, like I can't. I can't be mean to mean to someone or like if someone snaps at me, I'm not gonna snap at them back. I don't know what they got going on. Yeah. Like it makes me look like that's the problem. If you fucking don't fight back, you look like a bitch. Yeah. No, but sometimes that no. guy's clearly got his own personal issues. I love the guy. I hate his sin. But like, real. That's something I've always lived as first attending. But it's like a quote that I've been living by that my mom told me. It's like, you never know what someone is going through. It's not hard to show someone like positive energy because they could be going on, like they might have stuff going on at home. They might have some struggles going on mentally. And you might, you don't even know. You might have like genuinely saved someone's day because exactly. you, you never know what someone is going through. Yeah, never, on some real shit. I don't want to be a- But the thing with that though, I feel like that's just like a compassion type thing. Mm-hmm. So if you're comp- Passionate about yourself, it's easier to be compassionate to others. That is true. That is true. That's a fair point. That's like how I feel about. That's literally how I feel about my life right now. Like, I'm showing more, showing up for myself more than it like pours into my relationships and yeah. shit. And how has that made you feel? Good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. the yapping. I would be like so opposed to like just talking about whatever the fuck I feel like, like. especially. Well, in real life especially, but like, social media is where we fucking put wherever we, however we feel for real. It's an outlet. Yeah. I don't know how you want, like, how do you like stop? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting on. nervous as fuck. You don't got a spot. Yeah, good. I think he's yeah, chilling. <laughs> you seen that guy that fucking benched 600 pounds with Larry Wheels? That's insane. I mean, dude probably weighs like 600, but hey. still fucking moving 600. Yeah, I feel like, not to be on some deep shit, but more about the compassion, what I was just talking about. Like you're building yourself a little house. And Part of line with what? Building yourself a little house. Uh-huh. And the foundation of that is like the compassion you have for yourself. Self-love? Type shit, yeah. Okay. So the more you can like be able to stand on that, that's how it's like. Everything else. Like for me, that's how I'm like allowing myself to fucking present myself more. Yeah. And I was, telling, I was telling you about this, when we actually had that leg session when we were hitting legs on this machine. Um, ever since, because I've only known him for probably like four months. Oh, yeah, that's all I need to <laughs> I've only known Daryl for like four months. But dude, like the difference between when I first started training with him and now, like through his energy, he has been so much more vibrant. I told him this, yeah. I told him this straight up. He's been so much more vibrant and his energy has just been like, Radiated, if that makes sense. Uh, Which is listen, no, I'm like, yeah, I'm some, like, I genuinely on some real shit. I haven't even known yeah. that long, but it's like, I, you, yeah. from a person that doesn't know Daryl super well, you can tell that he's been putting in effort to push out some something, whether that be maybe like positivity, just like I don't know, just like a mindset towards others. And shit, here we are, the three of us. Yapping away. Yapping away, hidden legs. It's like these guys just spawned in. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But yeah, I spawned in. That's fucking the funniest shit. Yeah. Player one. Who's your dirt? Type shit. Dude, I'm like, what the fuck? And then when you both select them, and then they both like do a little emo, it's like, <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, fuck. All right. Yeah. Type shit. Yeah. Type shit. <laughs> 
Let's get to work. Well, I feel like our podcast would be really good. I think so too. I feel like it'd be really interesting. Yeah, What's like? It's pretty big at all. I don't think there's any like for the camera shit that I'm doing except no. these little thin fucking helper looks. Like, Max. <laughs> wow. It's, it's like, like, like talking. It's just as if the camera wasn't there. Yeah. Like, we definitely be having this conversation. There's so many times where we had these conversations like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> what, was, what was that? What was that? It's like the, like the homies where you'll be out, right? See a shoddy that they're trying to hit, and they're like, yeah. I see somebody just like, <laughs> one homeboy just hit me with a one-two uppercut, yeah. slammed me on the ground, and just money spread on me, just for a shoddy's attention, and I'm just, <laughs> they're on the ground like, oh. The only thing the camera does is just makes you articulate a little more, I think. Yeah. Like, you may, we, might, we might sound like we're talking to a camera, but we are, but like, yeah. I think this year that I'm really trying to work on is being well-spoken. I feel like, especially, okay, camera hard because I feel like you start thinking about what you're saying, yeah, yeah, and you really try to be as clear as possible. I don't read. This is where I literally get more articulate. Absolutely. That's not like I'm reading off a script or anything. It's like, you know, it's <laughs> yeah. just like... <laughs> I think that's the biggest reason why I, like... I would say I'm an introvert is because I don't like physically speaking. You don't like what? Physically speaking. Oh, yeah. Like I talk in my mind a lot. Just like listening. Yeah. You like, but you like the conversation. Yeah. And then people take that to the wrong way, but I'm like. Yeah, that's true. That's fucking nice. Yeah. Everybody, especially after like, especially after COVID, and um, not going like to school daily after graduating, bro. It like forced me to just be by myself a lot more. And I just stop. I get practicing like the extroverted energy and just like yeah, talking to people. Yeah. I think you posted on your story. Real as fuck. What? The post about a yapper versus a yeah. non-yapper. <laughs> I think that's why I've been yapping a lot because these yeah. fucking guys. <laughs> but I come in like every day. Yeah. Daryl, blah blah blah. He's just hanging on his phone. I just continue. That's the time where I'm like, all right, like shut the fuck up. I don't know if I should. <laughs> Episode six, maybe, maybe this is episode six. So, okay, this is what I asked you a while ago. Like, what? You were like, oh, I don't want to put out episode six. What's making you not want to put out? I think it's boring. Six? I don't think I have much. I have to review the footage. Why don't you just use the clips that you think are good and then mix them together? For your... What the hell? For the uh, nostalgia that I used to. Might as well. It's going to be. That's who... So I got to edit that. It's going to be Fuck, this is stressing me out. I got to write this down really quick. Yeah. Dude, I need to send you. I need to send you that video because it, it's it's really. I feel like okay. As of recently, I feel like everything has the way things have been lining up in like chronological order has been insane. And there's no you way it's, it's a coincidence, been? huh? You know what's been divine. Real tired shit. It has it's been shit. divine. Like the energy has been divine as of recently. Like. Yeah. The way things are lining up shouldn't be lining up the way they are, but they are, for a specific reason. Don't know what it may be, but there's a reason for it. And I saw the, so go ahead. No, no, you finished the pot. Oh, no, I just saw like, I saw the video, and one thing, the one important thing that I remember from the video is like, oh, we really are, oh, damn. My bad, team. <laughs> for our biggest critiques. And yeah. like, there's something, there might be something where like, damn, I really don't like the quality of this, I'm really not fucking with this. And there's someone, dude, there's gonna be at least two or three people out there that are like, you know, that's fire. Exactly. That's cool. Um, like, the way content is moving and the way we're seeing stuff online, everything is so fast paced. It's so, like, yeah, uh, trends people. happening, trends happening, dopamine, dopamine. Like, yeah, blah, blah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah. New trend, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Go chill. Like, yeah. <laughs> chill out, right? Working on, like the trap trauma stuff I was working on, I thought was so bogus, dude. I was not rocking with it. I didn't see myself wearing it, and I was like, man, I don't think anyone else would wear this. Yeah, I was wearing that shit the other day. He was like, that's cool, that shirt. Yeah. Like, Thanks. Thank you. And I don't think I'm biased. A little bit of bias, but I would tell you that it was like. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be wearing it as much as I do. Yeah, 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 yeah I know, I know. That, that's definitely helped change the perspective on life as of recently. Like, my family member came through, and she, I gave her one of the t-shirts because she's like, oh, you know, my stepdad told me, or so my stepdad told her that I was working on the project. She wore it, so she, so she lives in California. She took it back home. There was like six different people that went up to her and like, hey, I like the shirt, where'd you get it from? And I was like, like six people? Is, it may not seem like a lot, but dude, that was like, that was so cool for me to hear. It was like, bro, six people thought yeah, like, like my shit was- Yeah, they don't realize it's your brand. Exactly, they, like, it, was, it was very, um, 
organic. It was so organic. I literally just told Rip about that a while ago. The whole like, oh, you need to give yourself more cut. Damn. Yeah. Real, real, real. Clip. Uh, seeing a lot, it's like, oh, you know, like, it's not going to be the ability to sell like the t-shirts itself. It's the ability to sell something that we've been trying to work on or something that I've been trying to work on a lot more. You're doing really good at it, but we're trying to sell ourselves as, you know, as divine creation. Like, yeah, our fucking, our shirts are going to be cool. Like they look dope as hell. But another yeah. thing that's going to keep people to, like coming back to us is our personality, yeah. the way we carry ourselves, our brand, our ethics, dude, all of the above. It's not just the brand itself. What's the other one? Fuck, I don't know. Do you have more legs after this? Um, I know you said you wanted to hit some like RDLs ish, so I'm not sure I might. No, I said we, I mean, you could. Yeah, I'll probably could. We'll do this. Yeah, I was gonna say this or RDLs, but if you want to do RDLs. I want one of those RDL machines. Long ass week. It's not like a long ass week. Do you guys have a song of the week or song of the day? Ah, uh, song of the day. Song of the week, song of the day. I the Great Gig in the Sky by Pink Floyd. Great you, you're, you're gonna recognize it. Day? Good ass song. Wait, what? All right, this has been my cardio song recently. I one. You know how long? You by Cassie. Ooh. It's like the, it's like the yeah, I've been talking oh, about. Oh, good ass song. You know who I was spamming for a while? Gwen Stefani. Oh, Ooh, Gwen Stefani. should we do a pump check? Uh -uh. <laughs> but to pose your legs, you kind of do it like you do a squat. You know how you turn your legs out, like screw them into the ground and make it. Oh yeah, that's cool. Up on the camera. Have you been doing anything different? Is that picking up or no? It's picking up. It's picking up on the this a little bit. I'll zoom in. Yeah, the notch is picking up. You change anything in the past week? Mm -hmm. Calories the same, all that's the same? Yeah, everything's the same. Body just knows it's getting time. Yeah. You think that's a possibility? Yeah, that's why you get better every show. That's also one reason I want to do this too. Because you're just going to improve that much yeah. more? Yeah. Yeah, you're fucking... And I feel like... Yeah, you brought up your upper body so much. Yeah, it's gonna I hope so. Different. I know, I can't wait to see Prep Daryl again. Yeah, me too. That's fucking cool. Pretty That's sick. Cool. You see the... Is there, am I tripping? There's some lines, right? No, there is. Do you want me to go a little lower? Sure. Bro, Christmas tree. It's technically, if you're posing, the judges would be down here. Not chilling. Your trap's kind of massive as fuck, too. Okay, enough. Enough's enough. Keep it a dollar fifty. Costco hot dog. There's a track pants too. The track pants fucking. Fire.